So I was sitting in this coffee house, and this old man at the table next to me struck up a conversation. He said you had an amazing story. Let's see then, where to begin? Your character is very much the, the conduit, really, that allows yeah, this story word. to unfold. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the best of the only. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, indeed. I'm kind of, in a, in a sense, the eyes and the ears of the audience. I take them through, guide them through, in a sense, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it was a nice part to play. A big lesson in listening. And um, with regards to when you read the, the screenplay, had you ever envisioned what it would look like cinematically once you actually saw it? My brain is too small to comprehend such things. Thank God for Ang Lee. Thank God I wasn't directing it, because I wouldn't know how to do it. And, with, and talking about Ang Lee, he, you know, he's, he's creating a, a great spectacle of a story, but he also he seems to me a director that wants to work with his actors and build into the layers. Is that something that you experience? Absolutely. I mean, that that guy is something else. I've, worked, I've never worked with a director like him. His, his attention to detail, his sense of character, his sense of emotion, of technicality, everything. He's got it all. I didn't know any of the things I did, be it the swimming or the animals or the acting or the ocean or boats and the ocean. Everything was new to me, you know, first time outside of the country. Filmmaking is something I never thought I would be doing or being part of. Huge learn. I can't explain it. It's, oh, I learned a lot of things. And in your relationship as pie between um, the, the tiger and yourself, can you tell us a little bit more about that as well? Well, see, um, it's a very complicated and very simple relationship, you know. Tiger needed pie, pie needed the tiger. Uh, tiger needed pie for both food and obviously the obvious water and food. Pie, need, pie was all alone, you know. One of the things, human beings can face hunger and they can face, you know, sleeplessness and all of that you can face. But one thing everybody's weak against is loneliness. And, you know, loneliness can drive a person insane. That's why pie needed the tiger. who's never acted before, did he bring a vulnerability to the part that could transcend onto the big screen? Of course, I saw that potential. Actually, I saw him as Pi to begin with. And the movie started unraveling in front of my eyes the first time I met him. And he's an incredible, incredible talent. Uh, uh, the, the best of the, uh, the, the kind of talent you want to put on a movie. So I, I, I sort of had a sign of God that, you know, follow this young man protect him, <laughs> use him, nourish him, he is your pie. Uh, it's a long process to condition him, uh, not to, only to be a, a good actor, but as the person himself. So we, we all follow him for a long time. And, and working with 3D yourself for the first time, how has that enriched your experience of, of being a filmmaker? I think 3D do wonders uh, with water, which is very important for this movie. It really helped you to immerse in how Pi experienced his journey. Uh, and it's a new cinematic language. When we do something unfamiliar, especially for filmmakers, you, you tend to have new discovery. You tend to examine yourself. You can't, you can't help us second doubt yourself, <laughs> second guess yourself. But that's a good thing. That's, it's, it's a way to improve, to examine yourself and, and take to, uh, ho hopefully, a new place. She said, 